Thank you, Alan. Next up on The Beat Goes On is our segment looking at wine, food and restaurants. Tonight we talk to sommelier John Ingle from Prohibition Restaurant. John is brought to the table for tasting two rosés, one kiwi and one French. John Engel, welcome to The Beat Goes On. Thank, thank you, Gerard. Thank you for coming in today and filling in for Gabor Jaretsky. John, wine. You obviously know a lot about wine because you are, in fact, it's a French word meaning wine waiter. Sommelier. S- sommelier. Yes. What is a sommelier? Uh, he's the person who uh, works in conjunction with the maitre d' uh, but tackles the wine issue and all the drink side. So... Uh, in a restaurant. In a restaurant, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so responsible for the purchasing uh, of wine and, of course, also for the uh, uh, compilation of a wine list. The point of sale at the table, that's his main uh, purpose, to relate to the people. Sommelier at which restaurant in this wonderful Auckland city? Ah, uh, for the last 18 months, in fact, since uh, it was opened on Ponsonby Road, uh, the a uh, new Prohibition restaurant. The owners have put together a restaurant that takes you back in time uh, yeah, to cool. reflect the name Prohibition. So we go back 80 years in time. Tell us a little bit of the history. With pleasure. Uh, South African accountant mm-hmm. living in Russia uh, was motivated to put something he had seen into a big city in New Zealand. And uh, he uh, chose uh, various sites in Auckland, but chose in the end this corner site, lovely majestic building in Ponsonby, 108, uh, on the corner of Pollen and uh, Ponsonby. And uh, it took them uh, 18 months to refurbish it, and that's what really has uh, people spinning when they come in. The idea is to transport you into that era of 80 years ago. Now there's that wonderful car outside, the old yes, car that... from the 1930s, and of course the uh, doorman with the uniform. Yes, the taxi. The touch is just wonderful, and, and lovely music playing at night. Uh, it will, every yeah, night. Light, live it, music. Every night there's live jazz, uh, two, three-piece uh, saxophone, double bass, pianist, and vocalist every night, part and parcel of the whole theme of moving you and getting you to feel that you have been transported off the street. Wonderful, wonderful. You've selected two wines for the show this week. Why these two wines? Myself, never been terribly passionate about what I've bought, rosé. Yeah. Uh, um, it's a hard sell. Is it? It's, uh, it's even harder than selling Riesling. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> but... Uh, there's been an explosion yeah. in sales and production of rosé in New Zealand. In mm-hmm. fact, we're actually exporting quite a lot of mm-hmm. rosé. The demand from the public to drink it uh, has seen winemakers uh, make better and better examples of it. Of rosé. So what I've done today is I've bought a, an example from France. It's from Tavel, yeah. uh, Southern Rhone. And we're going to look at it against a, a very enthusiastic rosé from a Pinotage grape. Very unusual. But so from I'm, New Zealand, they're yes. telling me. Wonderful. Well, shall we try the, uh, the New Zealand one first? Yes, let's, all right. let's have a go at that. Let's have we? a look, Jared. Screw cap, as they all are these days in New Zealand. Beautiful oh, colour. Isn't that so subtle, that little pinkness there? Mm. The, it, it, it's the bleeding mm. of the black grapes just for a p- short period of time. Uh, just prior to fermentation, the skins of the black grapes are allowed to sit with the must and uh, for a crucial period that just allows the little bleeding Ble- of the colour. Wow. And then from there after, it's treated like a fer- uh, the fermentation is treated as a white wine. This one here, an Auckland winery, Kumu, Jason Kerr and Wendy uh, make their wine and they grow this on their own vineyard out there. Mm-hmm. And what's unique about this particular wine is that it's made from pinotage. They make a pinotage, one of the only people probably in New Zealand actually making straight pinotage. Mm-hmm. Uh, pinotage grapes that they use are sourced originally from South Africa, not the grapes, the vines mm-hmm. they're bought in. Uh, a combination of a Pinot Noir and Cinso, two classic Great varieties. Grape varieties. Yeah. Not a blend. This is where the two have been Grafted. brought together to form a new style of vine called Pinotage. Wow. Well, so let's have okay. a look. You're going to get those lovely strawberry, mm. watermelon, rose petal even. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? 
Real delicate on the nose there, and but rose. Rose petal? Do taste. Mm. Let's have a taste. Beautiful, isn't it? Light. Beautiful. Flavoursome. Mm. Clean, crisp. Mm. Now that, that to me is a beautiful wine mm. to drink in, uh, any time of the day. Mm -hmm. It's not perhaps weighty enough to always put with food. This is a, this is a wine to have uh, where we would want to have rosé mm. outside uh, on the deck during the day, particularly at lunchtime. Mm. Beautiful wine. You're right. Now, that's our New Zealand one, mm -hmm. rosé. Let's have a look at our rosé from France. All right, Gerard, wine number two mm. from the Southern Rhone in France. Uh, this can be made from as many as 13 grapes because in the Southern Rhone... Uh, There's a lot next, of red wine. <laughs> well, next to Chateau Neuf de Pape, uh, you're allowed to put 30, up to 13 grape varietals into the one wine. But usually it's Mavedra, uh, Grenache, um, Syrah. Mm. That's the typical blend. And this is it. This okay. is the typical blend. This hasn't got Cinso in like the other. Mm. It hasn't got Pinot Noir in. No. Let's have this swirl it around and what are we getting? I don't think there's much. The, nose is. the nose is less, isn't no, it? The nose, it is less. No. Well, let's do the taste Wine. test then, John. Yes, indeed. Okay. Lovely, but I, is it as good as... No, I don't think it's as... You're getting those tannins, aren't you? Mm. You see that finish, the tannins? Yeah. That's the... Um, there's more skin contact, or what's been bled out of those skins, because they're made exactly the same way, mm. uh, has been uh, more of those tannins we associate with red wine. Mm. And in fact, actually, uh, the wines from Tavel mm. uh, are known to be the most robust and most like a red wine of all uh, the French rosés. So okay. we are talking about a really big rosé. Are you going to put your neck out here, uh, John, and uh, say which is the best, New Zealand or France? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I wouldn't go so far. <laughs> I, I'd be at this stage looking at the person at the table and trying to get uh, the right response yeah. to them. Okay. Um, in other words, uh, if it was a lighter food, the New Zealand one is going to go much better. Mm. It's a little sweeter. Mm. It's a little crisper. I think that's why it's a little I, yeah. it, And it's actually got more, loads more fruit uh, flavour. Mm. The French one, uh, you can see from just your swelling mm. of the glass, the legs on the glass mm. uh, are much heavier, more weighty altogether. Mm. And uh, that's what it is. It's a very heavy wine, almost akin to a red wine. Two beautiful wines, John. Now, you have to have a lovely meal, of course. And you're at one of the... Most well, fabulous restaurants in Auckland, Prohibition. So, what could we, our viewers, could we say? What about having a little competition and coming in and having a wonderful meal Excellent. at Prohibition with a glass of wine like this? Let's do that. Mm. Let's uh, let's put a meal there for two people. Mm. Um, a nice romantic night. Yes, and uh, with uh, me looking after them and engaging them in some wine. Oh, wouldn't that be on wonderful? the house, please? Yes, oh, great okay. idea. Now. They can email Jared at the beat goes on. Yes. Jared at the beat goes on, and they have to answer a simple question: What is the street address of Prohibition? Wonderful. That's so easy, isn't it? <laughs> they just have to look up the street address of Prohibition Restaurant. Well, we will tell you this: It's in Ponsonby. You're going to get a lot of emails, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. Tell us the street number of uh, Prohibition, and John and I will pick from all the emails that come in, and we'll pick a winner, and they'll have a wonderful night out at uh, Prohibition Restaurant. I'll honour that. John, it's been wonderful having you here. Thank you, Joe. Trying these beautiful wines in the skin about six weeks' time. Excellent. Okay, thanks, John. Thanks,